I want to hope everybody's keeping well. So just kind of what the top of two topics is. So just bear with me first of all. So first of all, um, you probably heard me talking about it the other day, but Daryl O'Brien, the Minister for Housing, um, Kevin Cavan. And now before I say anything else, people be saying, you know, we came from Dublin. And that's correct, he did come from Dublin. Um, a lot of concern was raised um, by a few people a few days before, because obviously we had a few days notice before he came. Um, and obviously even myself, I even said, you know, could they not do it fortunately? Um, because obviously Simon Harris was had a meeting fortunately with Calvin Institute last week. Uh, actually, no, two weeks ago. Um, he's done that fortunately, done it over the computer, he didn't come down to Calvin. Um, Dara came down to Calvin. Um, and, you know, and loads of people were saying, was there any need, you know, out of the 5K, because he was supposed to keep in these 5K. Um, and that's a non etc. And there were some people said it's non etc. Um, I beg to differ, really, because, again, it, they had to sign contracts uh, for housing developments and things like that, for money to be given and things like that. And obviously, he didn't get to speak to the chief executive as he usually does. He usually speaks to all the chief executives um, at the end of the year. M- m- the majority of the time, housing ministers do speak to the chief executive to see how everything's going in their counties. Um, and he didn't get to speak with our chief executive and Kevin Kettikensis, so that's why too he came down to speak in person to see how things are going. So just wanted to clear that. I know some people might be saying this on the section, and to a certain extent I would say yes, but at the same time, he did have to sign off on things, and you know, you could say they could have sent it off, but um, I, t- I think it was probably best he could have come down, because again, at the end of the day, I don't see um, you know, what's the harm, I suppose, to harm it, because again, it's not, it's not like going to golf gate, going for a game of golf, he was on business, um, and again, I kind of could see, because this is for the benefit of the county and it's benefit the people of Calvin, um, this 12.3 million put towards social housing in Calvin. Um, and then obviously for the big reconstruction of Calvin Town, 14 point seven, fifteen million 15 million nearly towards it. So it's a lot of money and the benefits the people of Calvin. So, you know, I understand people's concerns. I understand that people might not be too happy because obviously they can't travel freely. Um, but, you know, it could be worse. Let's put it that way. At the same time, you know, we shouldn't, but again it's kind of a hard thing to know it's, but again my opinion is you know it's for the benefit of people in Calvin so you know it's not that bad but yeah the thing about that I also want to talk about that um, Daryl Bryan did praise Calvin County Council for their um, a, you know amazing efforts and this putting this straight there's an amazing effort that they're doing very very well Calvin County Council and providing social housing obviously the lists are very low on Calvin I, I finally got that confirmed and um, the lower the Mulhan, um, which is great um, the people are going there's less people in the social house and listen Calvin um, and listen to this so in Calvin last year 90 properties that were lying vacant so old houses that were lying vacant were done up 90 90 properties compared to other county councils uh, which build houses compared to doing them up because Calvin County Council obviously what to do up a lot of houses I even know my own local village here I was on to them about hundreds of times about it over the years and finally they took on board what I said to have the permission granted and things like that but they're just waiting for the contractors and that's what's holding them back a lot because it would be up, like, from 90, it would be a lot more. Um, but the contractors, you can't get the builders, you know, we can't get enough. There's, there's the demands there, but there's not enough builders, if that makes any sense. Um, and obviously, you know, there's only a few companies around Calvin that does construction. Um, cross-key constructions and, you know, different things like that. The council usually get um, contractors. Um, but, yeah, the, so there's planned to be six houses, new social housing developments in, in Butters Bridge. Um, obviously they're doing up old houses too they're doing up a few old houses and knocking down one and building a new one up but obviously it, t- it does take a lot more money to repurpose houses and um, that's the better word to put but at the same time it's beneficial because you know you're taking away a nice or abandoned house that's lying in Ido, um, and it's a sin to see a house go and lie in Ido and people lying in the street so you know Calvin is doing very very well in that um, and obviously we're leading you know we really are leading the way and he Daryl Biden did really say that um, the cabin's really, really doing very good. Um, a population wise and things that are able to d- deal with the social housing demand and really, um, it's at a manageable level. It's at a manageable level. Um, if we continue at this pace, doing up houses like every year we continue going on ninety. If we do up ninety houses, like you take for example, um, this last year was ninety houses. You take this year, we could have, if hopefully please got two hundred houses maybe done up. I know they're doing up a good few houses at the moment around the town. Um, last time I checked, they think it's good threat to do them around the town, or they have plans to do anyway. So, you know, again, if you keep, if we keep at this pace, you know, we're going to do very, very well. And obviously, it's good to see that the house has been repurposed. Um, and obviously, it benefits towns, making it more cleaner, and obviously making it more, I have nice, less than my so. But anyway, just want to talk about that anyway. So, let me know what you think about him coming to Calvin. What's the non essential trip? What do you think about it? 
Um, and obviously it's very, very good news to see the old house has been repurposed. But anyway, thank you for watching. Everybody subscribe more and take care and bye.